This protocol can be used to understand the impact of toxicants on fitness at different developmental stages and examine the effect of exposure to pollutants across generations. Demonstrating the procedure will be two undergraduate students in my research laboratory that are a part of the Communities to Build Active STEM Engagement at Colorado State University Pueblo, Hugh Long and Tyler Harvey. To begin working with an environmental contaminant of interest, first, determine the 50% lethal dose of the compound on Drosophila. Use established methods to create a dose-response curve. Next, prepare the growth medium with the compound at the desired concentration. For instance, add the compound in the water aliquot when making instant medium. In parallel, make control medium without the added compound. To set up the culture from which to collect experimental animals, transfer the reproductive adults to the growth medium using standard methods. Standardize the number of flies per vial and avoid overcrowding the adults. Then, incubate the flies under standard conditions for one to four days. After the incubation, discard the adults, leaving behind fertilized eggs to mature for testing. Then return the vials in the incubator. The exposure can be set up at any developmental stage. In addition, experimental subjects can...